September 26, 2016, Monday of the 26th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the book of Job. One day, when the angels of God came to present themselves before the Lord, Satan also came among them. And the Lord said to Satan, Whence do you come? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From roaming the earth and patrolling it. And the Lord said to Satan, Have you noticed my servant Job, and that there is no one on earth like him, blameless and upright, fearing God and avoiding evil? But Satan answered the Lord and said, Is it for nothing that Job is God-fearing? Have you not surrounded him and his family and all that he has with your protection? You have blessed the work of his hands, and his livestock are spread over the land. But now put forth your hand and touch anything that he has, and surely he will blaspheme you to your face. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold, all that he has is in your power. Only do not lay a hand upon his person. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. And so one day, while his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking wine in the house of their eldest brother, a messenger came to Job and said, The oxen were plowing and the asses grazing beside them, and the Sabaeans carried them off in a raid. They put the herdsmen to the sword, and I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, another came and said, Lightning has fallen from heaven and struck the sheep and their shepherds and consumed them, and I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, another messenger came and said, The Chaldeans formed three columns, seized the camels, carried them off, and put those tending them to the sword, and I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, another came and said, Your sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in the house of their eldest brother, when suddenly a great wind came across the desert and smote the four corners of the house. It fell upon the young people, and they are dead, and I alone have escaped to tell you. Then Job began to tear his cloak and cut off his hair. He cast himself prostrate upon the ground and said, Naked I came forth from my mother's womb, and naked shall I go back again. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In all this, Job did not sin, nor did he say anything disrespectful of God. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, Incline your ear to me and hear my word. Hear, O Lord, a just suit. Attend to my outcry. Hearken to my prayer from lips without deceit. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. From you let my judgment come. Your eyes behold what is right. Though you test my heart, searching it in the night, though you try me with fire, you shall find no malice in me. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me, hear my word. Show your wondrous mercies, O Savior of those who flee from their foes to refuge at your right hand. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. An argument arose among the disciples about which of them was the greatest. Jesus realized the intention of their hearts and took a child and placed it by his side and said to them, Whoever receives this child in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. For the one who is least among all of you is the one who is the greatest. Then John said in reply, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to prevent him because he does not follow in our company. Jesus said to him, Do not prevent him, for whoever is not against you is for you. The Gospel of the Lord. September 26th, Monday of the 26th week in Ordinary Time. 
The first reading comes from the book of Job, chapter 1, verses 6 to 22. This passage sets up the premise for the book of Job. Job is a wealthy man with a large family and many possessions. And Satan one day appears at the court of heaven and challenges God. Now what is Satan doing in heaven? In the Old Testament, Satan is often seen as an investigator and a prosecuting attorney. He's the one who will accuse us of our faults. And in fact, in the book of Revelation, we hear that the accuser of our brothers is cast out. That was Satan. Well, Satan says to God that Job is only praising you because you've blessed him. If you take everything away, he'll curse you. So in fact, God allows Satan to take everything away, but Job refuses to curse God. His response, naked I came forth from my mother's womb, naked I shall go back again. The Lord gave, the Lord has taken away, blessed be the name of the Lord. So here we see the virtuous response of Job. Even though everything is taken away, and certainly Job doesn't deserve this because he's done nothing wrong, Job is still willing to bless the Lord. Now notice how I said that. Job doesn't deserve this because he's done nothing wrong. That's the wisdom teaching of the Old Testament, that if you live a good righteous life, you'll be rewarded, you'll live a long life, be healthy. If you sin, you'll be punished. Job is punished. He doesn't know why. And in fact, that will be the question that's asked all throughout this book. Why do bad things happen to good people? The Gospel is from Luke 9, 46 to 50. There are really two passages here. The first one, the disciples argue among themselves who's the greatest. Jesus responds, the one who serves a child. Now notice this is not the passage that says, become like a child, it's serve a child. Why? Because children can't pay you back. In the Gospel of Luke, Jesus tells his disciples to invite those to supper who will not repay you, who will not invite you in return. Invite the beggars, the crippled, etc. The message is, is that true love doesn't expect a reward. It gives of itself simply for the good of giving. And then at the second half, we see that the disciples don't understand the Christian message. John says, somebody is casting out demons in your name that we try to prevent it. Jesus' response, don't, because whoever is not against you is with you. John and the disciples still consider the miraculous powers of Jesus to be their property, their monopoly, and Jesus refuses to play that game. Jesus wants the disciples to share of the goodness without receiving honor and privilege in return. And may God bless us.